Shalom everyone. I hope that you're doing fantastic. Thanks for joining for December 2nd, 2020 reading. If it is an anniversary, happy anniversary to you. And if it is um, your birthday, happy birthday. If you're returning, welcome back. And if you're new, I'm just spiritual, but I love Jehovah Elohim, maker of heaven and earth, okay? Anyway, let's get let's get in it. Jehovah, I just thank you for this day. I thank you for who you are. And I will rejoice in this day. Thank you for making it. We just bind, block, and rebuke every foul, demonic, wicked, dark energy right here, right now that can be related in any way, shape, or form. Command for the truth to come forth right here, right now. We thank you for it. It says... Um, Blessed is the one who runs not from the truth. One more, please, Jehovah. What's the energy today? I thank you for the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. They who know their Elohim shall do exploits. This is coming out for us. So just put that to the side. I just like to take a couple of messages sometimes like that. So... If you know Elohim, you will do exploits. What's the message today, please? For December the 2nd, 2020, what do we need to know and understand? Show me what's known, please, Jehovah. What's in the known space? So balancing is here or the temperance card. Truth. And blessed is the one who runs not from the truth. This is where the sun is at right now. As we know, um, this is energies of reconciliation for some people. This is the husband. This is protection. This is luck. This is fortune. This is law. Our higher mind is coming out here. It's spirituality coming out here as well. We also have the Eight of Pentacles coming out here. So work in the now. And what's hidden is work. And we will take some cards on these. That's huge for some people. And we have a release. By the end of the day, there will be a death. I guess of some kind, some type of uh, release of something, some type of transformation, and then a renewal is at the bottom of the deck here. So let's go ahead and clarify this. So, two cards out here in what is known about a reconciliation because this is the judgment card that's also a reconciliation card and y'all just bear with me if you are new I wake up with my audience I've been up since I don't know about 2 30 3 o'clock this morning it's about 4 30 this morning as I am recording this so if I'm not real enthusiastic it's, it's not that I'm not <laughs> I'm just uh waking up still my brain's trying to kick in anyway um so what's known is reconciliation overall energy having a wake-up call with the judgment card showing itself here at the bottom of the deck um, renewing something here show me this temperance card please jehovah Show me this temperance card. People do know that they need to return. They've had enough time to evaluate something to know what the truth is. Blessed is the one who runs not from the truth. So we have the uh, magician card coming out here, which is the whole stick here. The third house and the ninth house is appearing here, and something's known about that. Uh, something's known about communication. 
It's a communication card, right? Something is known about. This is the Aleph head, right? This is uh, somebody who leads a clan. This is somebody who has everything that they need to get something done, to produce something. Higher mind, lower mind is appearing here in some type of communication and balancing something out here is what's known. Show me the Eight of Pentacles, please, in the hidden space. Show me the Eight of Pentacles, please, Jehovah, in the hidden space. So somebody tried to have communication here, and somebody did run from the truth, um, and wouldn't have the communication, it's known. It's known about, for whatever reason. Because we got a clan energy here. We have the name Anne here as well. We have the A and the N showing up here. Show me the Eight of Pentacles, please. We also have the R and the M. Did I already say that? I don't know. <laughs> Nothing wants to come out here. Show me the Eight of Pentacles, please, in what's hidden. So the law is here and bitterness or forgiveness. This is also a return card as well. You need to put the work in on it. It's in the hidden. I mean, the truth is here. We have the K here as well. Uh, this is turning around to leave troubled waters behind with the Six of Swords. We already know about people being bitter and their cups falling over and things with work and not working on something or are working on something. Some people will face the truth. Some people are mature and they will face it, not run from it. And they will know that Elohim will work through them to do exploits somehow. Um, obviously we have law really big out here. The eighth house is coming out with both of those cards, the death and the resurrection cards. And then we have the justice card. We also have law here. So laws everywhere. So law freaking does know about stuff. Uh, show me the end of the day, please. With this death card, secret money, secret things here by the end of the day, but we've got overall things that are actually known is a release card show me the death card please Yehovah nothing wants to come out people what is the death card here about thank you the queen of wands is it's also leaving troubled waters behind. Show me this Queen of Wands. Something's going to be over here with this Queen of Wands energy. If this is the other woman, then your other woman might die, I guess. Or something about the situation will die. Because there's a release here. Show me this Queen of Wands energy. death. It's huge. It's also FBI. If that's law, because we've got law in the hidden where work is concerned, then there's some type of the huge transformative energy showing up here. Uh, again, leaving troubled waters behind. That's interesting. Look, whatever this other woman energy is here, this in the upright, this person's getting um, getting released from something from something that's been nasty because something has been somebody has been running from the freaking truth, and she's gonna get um, happy because something's dying. Then, then that's positive. There's a the M and M that in the Hebrew is a bad blemish. So that's either been around you. Or this person is has a bad blemish on them. We had somebody leaving the troubled waters behind. If you're in the truth and you're not running from any truth, then you don't, you're not dying. Uh, 
if somebody's done something wicked around you that's got a bad blemish, we'll just declare and decree that this person be put down today, that they will go out into eternity, but they've got a blemish on them, they're twice dead, this person, whoever was doing the dirty and was running from truth. Um, that's huge, people. That's really huge. Show me another one, please, on this. Um, that's secrets here. There's bad secrets around this person or around you or around me. Somebody's just kept some type of freaking darkness there. That's crazy. That's really crazy. And it's known that there's been some kind of communication. Somebody apparently did run from the truth because there's, there's a freaking blemish here on somebody. And they caused it on their self by not wanting to speak the truth. If you ran, this is this is your end today. And if this person, if you and I are showing up as the Queen of Wands in the truth, we win. Because there's a big fat release and a big fat end here on somebody who's got a freaking blemish and ran from it. Or ran from this person who had the truth or this person is the one being put down today. That's a blemish. They don't get to stay. That's twice dead energy. Thrice dead. It's got it here three times. As somebody just freaking cloaked in darkness themselves. It's nasty energy, people. It really is nasty energy. And somebody in the secret work, their work is what? To run from the truth. Real karmic stuff here today. Real karmic stuff today. This is a huge transformation. Show me another one on the ending today, please, Jehovah. Thank you. So, we have the Hierophant and the Two of Cups jumping out here. So, if this FBI and somebody is going to go to prison for something, because the law is all over the freaking place. Then we've got society here. We have the H here as well. We have the Two of Cups. And we have people being in unity for love. And putting some work in on something. And going slow and being steady. If this person is going to be put down or taken away finally for something that they've done for death. If this person's murdered somebody. And they've run from the truth. Whatever this is. We've got the Aleph Head here. And the Aleph Head energy showing up here. We could safely say that because it's society here and somebody leads a clan in the Hebrew is here. We have a sea of people showing up here. We have the whole freaking stick showing up in the outcome. And there's some type of uh, unity. There's hospitals and stuff like this as well. That's interesting what's coming out here. What's on the other side of this? We have the sixth house coming out here. The shoulders, the lungs, the intestines, the spleen. There's messages here with the sixth house. Also goes back to business and hospitals. Hospitals are here. That also take us back to business and um, morals and ethics. And somebody's got a big fat blemish on them because they are running from the truth. If they sit there, for some of you who, who have tried to have communication, somebody didn't communicate, didn't want to put the work in on it. Uh, we've got law and the secret working on something. It's showing in the secret place here. As somebody, it's known about the communication. It's known that somebody ran from it. We've got communication on the back side of this uh, card here. That's interesting. And then we have the 11th house knowing. This is the ankle and circulation uh, circulatory system is here. And so somebody does know. And somebody's analyzed something here as well. And... Um, interesting what further information do we need to know about this reading Jehovah you tell it there is unity here for some people who are not going to run from the truth this is healing then with this hospital energy it's totally transforming something in a huge way the moon is here all right well the moon the mother cycles, shadows of things, dreams, delusions. Well, if people don't want to look at the truth, you're, they're delusional. They're in deep darkness here. Somebody's in deep darkness here and some people are healing things here. It can go either way all day long but there's something here with the home. What else here, please? 
intense affection with the moon card in this deck. If that's been hunting and chasing and laying down an ambush or upright, righteous, and humble energy. We've got the snake here. A bad snake is here with this deception. Whatever the crap this is. This is tricks and betrayal. Well, this is the other woman for some of you all that are in relationships that have contractual things. We have the husband here. Okay? And if the husband was messing around or did something or it was whatever, both parties or whatever the crap is going on here in this reading, we have lies and betrayals and manipulation and hypocrisy here. Then with this stupid snake that's in deception. Well, somebody's in deep darkness. They really are in deep darkness. Just seen the gentleman card. One more, please, on additional energy. So the one who's not running from the from the truth about this third party. If you don't run from it, there's beautiful healing. If you run from it, by the end of the day, you die. And there's twice dead energy. Whether you can still have a conversation or not, you're not gonna face the truth. You're not gonna run. You you're not gonna uh, look at it. You die today. There's twice dead energy. There's it's here three times, people. That's huge. It's really huge. There's deep deception here. What else, Jehovah? Craziness. That's the truth energy coming out here. And there's also, that's luck. we got luck here. If you look at the truth, loyalty and stuff like that should be to the truth, regardless if you fell down or not, people. It's rewards as well optimism there anyway we do have love at the bottom of the deck and gifts and stuff like that if you do the right thing if you don't run this book came out i hope you all have a fantastic day and that everyone finds themselves walking in truth and not running from it so that you can be blessed and not twice dead this is nasty energy on somebody if they don't do the right thing today shalom